then Broken Bottle, next in Queen Marauding. Further back in the field, a Spanish fighter, Padishar, Indecision, Stenner. And then came Mighty Impulse and Oompa Loompa at the tail of the field. Bar won a long gap then to uh, last over the line. Would have been Tycoon Magic, a distant last, in fact. Yes, very good winter, Raptor. Well ridden by Eddie Casser. Trained by Ray Lawson. Ray's been around a long time. I'm sure he'd be delighted to get a winner on Melbourne Cup Day. Number three, Barry number one. We were talking about the Barry's before you hit Peter Donegan and yourself. It's dynamite to draw well here, not cover ground. Well, that's right. It's very hard when you, you draw out because you're working hard all the way. And this horse has had a lovely run all the way. Now it's three, out. four, and five. Regal Conspiracy gets third to nose out Lord Quickstep. So three, four, five, and a busy finish. Raptor finding plenty. He sticks on well. Uh, Lord Quickstep just didn't quite finish it off with a big weight. Regal Conspiracy, had it have got a clearer passage, well, it may well have won the race or certainly finished closer, yes. but the winner's very dogged. Very good win. Three, four, five. And just said, I thought Lord Quickstep, that's number one, I thought that was going to get home over the top of them, but that weight just told the 58 kilos. But uh, oh, all the honours were with the winner. He had a lovely run, beautifully ridden by Eddie Casser. Did a good job. Here he is, Arrowhead here. Wearing the Bulldog colours too, with the blue, uh, red and the white. John Letts will escort Eddie Casser back to scale after winning race number five on Cup Day. Yes, Eddie, uh, the rider at the Eddie uh, winning a race on Melbourne Cup Day. The thrill. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, well, my dream is to ride a Melbourne Cup winner, but even so, being riding winner on Melbourne Cup Day, I mean, there's no other feeling. It's great. Eddie, you've ridden this horse today, but uh, I see you rode him before and have been placed on him in the city. The, the reason you didn't ride him his last couple? Um, well, I've been having a little bit of weight trouble. Unfortunately, he hasn't been getting my weight. I've ridden him twice before this and um, run two seconds on him at Mooney Valley. Last up was a great run, but unfortunately didn't have my weight then. But today he had me weight and I was on, and we made the good things count. Yes, Eddie, and there's about 100,000 people out there to cheer you on. You're on the favourite. And good luck, and uh, we'll see Eddie Casser and uh, Raptor again sometime shortly in the future. I hope so. Thank you. Thanks, Eddie. Eddie Casser talking to John Letts, and here is the very colourful winning trainer, Ray Lawson. Colour coordinator there, Ray. Like that? Oh, you've come up a million dollars. Thank you. Well, you haven't won quite a million dollars, but that was a very good, solid performance. Barrier one at the 1400. You'd take it every time, wouldn't you? Yes, uh, well, this horse would, because Peter, he, um, I think he's had 13, 14 runs, and the closest he's ever drawn in his life is the third outside barrier. Is that right? That's right, and today's the first time he's ever drawn one. Lane my way was someone put him through the fence because he didn't know what it was all about. But, yeah, he, you know, he's run a lot of seconds, he's competing, he's a real, he's no champion, but he's very gutsy. Nice patient effort, he's an underrated rider, this young man, Eddie Casser. Uh, mate, I'd put him on anywhere, I wouldn't care if it was the Melbourne Cup or what, I mean, he rides as well as anybody in Australia, this kid, but, you know, he's just got to look after his weight a bit better, that's his problem. Always good to win a race on Melbourne Cup Day. Thanks, Peter. Good on you, Ray. Yeah. Ray Lawson, who trains Raptor, succession of seconds in that horse's career, finally draws a gate and gets the money. The number's there, 345, Raptor, Nocro, Regal Conspiracy. We'll take a break. You're watching Foster's Melbourne Cup Day, live around Australia on Network 10. Hope you're back in the winner. Fashion cup ingenuity. Look at that. That's a milk crate, isn't it, eh? <laughs> I reckon you should be listened to. What have you have you got a cup tip for us? Oh yes. What is it? Tie the knot. Tie the knot and over to you. The hind. The hind. That's a pretty topical one. The hind on the crate. <laughs> Beats lady. <laughs> Tim Bailey out and about creating mischief as he usually does. One place he's not is in the jockey's room, thankfully, because there's a bit of decorum in there and you need it when you have to go through all of these rituals. And here we go for race five. Numbers are three, four and five. Weight is there. Margins are a half length by a neck and the time 123.1 on Raptor, Knock Row and Regal Conspiracy. And just before the presentation, let's check the dividends on race five. A good odds, Raptor, $9.30 and $2.60. $8.30 for Knock Row and $6.10 Regal Conspiracy. Quinella, $123.20. With the two outsiders running the place, a big trifecta, $4,110. And the race to race double with a favourite, Walnut into Raptor, $31.40. And Dan, it's time for the spoils to be presented after the Anderson Consulting Plate Race 5.